Hello, everyone. It is Mark Berman from TV Media Insights. It is Wednesday, May 21st, and I would like to welcome you back to our daily video cast. And I must begin today with an item in today in TV history, because whenever I think of this, it puts a smile on my face. I am sure it does on your face as well. On this day in 1990 was the series finale of CBS sitcom Newhart. In that final classic scene, Bob Newhart wakes up in his old Chicago apartment from his former sitcom, The Bob Newhart Show, next to his former TV wife, Suzanne Plachette. The whole series apparently was a dream. To this day, I think this is the best series finale of any sitcom in the history of television. And another series that concluded on this day, it was in 1992, and that was ABC Action Adventure MacGyver. Now let's talk about some current TV news. Yesterday I mentioned I was speaking at a meeting in my office regarding the upcoming broadcast network primetime schedules next season, and I specifically said at the meeting that every network claims it is number one. Well, the meeting ends, I go back to my desk, and I get an email from NBC. They are number one in the traditional TV season. Then CBS sends its email, they are number one, then ABC claims it is number one. So who is number one? Well, here's the bottom line. What what really kind of annoys me to some degree is the broadcast networks are preaching that they are 52-week programmers. So why are they focusing on the so-called traditional September to May TV season? I thought there wasn't a traditional season anymore. Regardless, the traditional season officially ends tonight, and CBS will win the sweep or this season, excuse me, in total viewers with an estimated 10.73 million viewers. That is down by 9% year to year. NBC is second with 9.28 million viewers, up 33%. ABC is 7.59 million, down 3%. And Fox is 7.35 million, up 4%. Keep in mind that this includes all sports and the results for the CW were not available at press time. NBC will win the traditional season in adults 18 to 49 with a 2.7 rating in the demo um, compared to one year earlier. That is up by 13%. This is the largest increase for any broadcast network since the beginning of People Meters. That is 26 years. Second will be Fox with an estimated 2.5 rating, which is unchanged from last year. We have CBS at a 2.4, which is down by 17%, and ABC is a 2.5. Point one, that is down by 5%. In terms of ABC being number one, their email focused on the concluding May 2014 sweeps, and ABC will finish first in adults 18 to 49. So, congratulations to CBS, NBC, and ABC. And again, the traditional TV season and this evening. In terms of the weekly rating scorecard on the broadcast networks, based on the Live Plus same day data for the week of May 12th, it was a clean sweep for ABC, and that was because of the 2014 Billboard Music Awards and the two hour Barbara Walters special last Friday. Over at Fox, the upcoming annual Teen Choice Awards will be airing live on Sunday, August 10th from 8 to 10 p.m. Jesse, Disney Channel's live-action sitcom, has been renewed for a fourth season with an unconfirmed number of two of new episodes. Excuse me for next season. Kristen Bell is returning as host of the CMT Awards, which will be airing on CMT Live on Wednesday, June fourth. Um, beginning at 8 p.m., and canceled Fox sitcom Enlisted will be burning off its final four episodes in the Sunday 7 p.m. half hour beginning on June 1st. You know, once upon a time, the summer was really a breeding ground for repeats and leftovers, but there is a lot of original programming coming up this summer, which is why the networks are claiming they are 52-week programmers. In syndication, I have the weekly rating scorecard. This is based on the Live Plus same-day data for the week of May 5th. Keep in mind that syndication ratings are always one week behind the broadcast networks. Once again, Judge Judy topped the charts. It averaged a 7.2 rating in households. Last night was a one-hour Judge Judy primetime special, which really was her show in daytime airing in primetime. I am waiting for the rating results, and I'm curious to see how the season finale of Dancing with the Stars did. Now, coming up on the air tonight, this is very interesting. The two-hour season finales of Survivor on CBS and American Idol on Fox are facing off against each other. Now, normally, CBS airs the season finale of Survivor 
Survivor on Sunday, but because American Idol is down so much and Survivor is beating it, the INET decided let them air opposite each other. So that should be very interesting. Also coming up on the air tonight is the one-hour season finale of The Middle on ABC. Modern Family is concluding its season on ABC. We have the series finales of Mixology on ABC and Revolution on NBC. And then Law & Order SVU and Chicago PD are concluding their seasons on NBC. I always get a little... A little, is melancholy the word to say? I always get a little depressed in, to some extent when we have all these season finales because I know the summer is coming and while the summer is a great time to be in, I miss all the original shows from the traditional TV season. And that is our daily video cast from TVMI on this 21st day of May. And I thank you very much for joining me. I will see you back tomorrow. Take care.